Yo. This is a review of I'm Travis Scott. These before Real Rodeo. Video. Probably the it'll sound all the time, but uh I'm just gonna go uh trap by trap for all you uh noobs out there. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> oh, that Travis Scott is the illest of all the time! I don't care about all you haters! Okay! You all need to get your nerdy ass dead! Fuck! You! Hey, turns! And a quick message for OG Mako! Shut the fuck up! Okay. So today's for Free Rodeo, the dopest album of all time. It's not fucking mixtape! Free album! So, Travis Scott, he's a young motherfucker, bro. He's an from, artist, he's, he's from, creative, he's art! He's from Houston. He's dope! He's from Houston. The dopest city ever. Other artists from Houston, the Migos, Travis Scott, Kid Cudi, Kanye and things from Houston, and yes. that mother Chinese guy. Okay. So, the first song of Days Before Rodeo. Rodeo's gonna be the dopest out of all time! But the first song's The Prayer. This song was fucking ill! Yes! It goes to the thing, it goes. It's the raw song all the time. And then the eight to eight goes. Yeah, bro. So Travis was so lyrical on this shit. It fucking was ill. He had the most illest fucking lyrical. Lyrics I've ever fucking heard on this fucking First track. Off, I hear all you motherfuckers out there talking about Earl Sweatshirt got the lyrics. Fuck Earl Sweatshirt. He is not true. So fuck our future. And fuck ASAP Rocky. The flying for life. Yeah. You talk shit about him. I fucking kill you. So the next song, Mama Sita, is the best ill. Ever. No, it was pretty ill. But it didn't have just the flame on it, so yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. as good, but it was ew. And it talked about bad bitches, bro. The flame got a lot of bad bitches. Yes, the flame talked about his life. It's another thing you guys need to understand. The Travis is the illest artist to ever come out the Atlantis. <laughs> He's ill. You guys start talking shit about the thing. You got a bit your ass and you talk shit about the thing. Fuck you. The next song, Katana Part 2. I can't wait until Part 3 comes out. <laughs> but that was ill. Fuck that motherfucker else that was on it. He was not the ill. T. The T, man. Who's that? Ty. I don't know who this motherfucker is, but he not ill. The next is Drugs You Should Try. It made me cry! It's it made me cry! Drugs! Yes, it made me cry. Next song with Don't Play. Because you motherfuckers don't play with the flame. It was pretty ill. I liked it. I liked the ending because it went BOOM! But, okay, the next song with is Young Thug. Ooh, scar fall. Because if you hate on the thing, he made the scar fall on your nerd ass. And fuck all you nerd ass old motherfuckers the that make a music. Four ninety seven. Die! So, the next is Zombies. Because he makes you into a zombie. Yeah, about Call of Duty. It was real ill. And he just breathes. It's like he took all my emotions about the life. Into this song, it made me understand that all the old motherfuckers fuck you. And next was Sloppy Toppy. Ill is so ever. This song is about Rihanna. So because I'm, he fucked her. Yeah, Rihanna is his girl. Don't Friends. talk about his girl like that. He will beat your ass. He is the same. No. So. Sloppy Toppy, I first heard it in a Vine compilation. Yeah. I love that shit. I love Vine. Next is... Bas Travis the best on Vine. Yeah, next is Basement Freestyle. This Raw is fuck. He's the illest freestyler of See, all time, This guys. is a lie, because he freestyles all songs. Uh, he's raw as fuck. Next is 
backyard. I like backyard because he said the flame and straight up. <laughs> the next song is Gray, the illest song. It made me fucking cry. It was so beautiful. Because he said he's leaving town. We don't want the flame leave town. <laughs> no, but the flame is the next Kid Cudi. Cause Kid Cudi, oh my fucking now, he ain't ill. Fuck Kid Cudi. Yes, Travis Scott is next. Oh. Back. The bonus track is ill. It is ill, guys. Don't mess with the flame. Bye. The flame.